Right, uh, greetings everyone. Uh, this is Bomani Tayamba, and welcome to our Garveytown conference call for June 30th. And this uh, entire conference call is dealing with our investment in Garveytown. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, start um, with the uh, documentation. And as far as myself, I'm assisting the Garveytown company and the Garveytown community itself. Uh, we're doing uh, the administrative work and also this a um, lot of the marketing and this being a source of where anyone who needs any information about Garvey Town can reach out to me. And as I correspond with the the, the co-founders and other members that are in the UK and then the prime setup uh, there in Ghana. Uh, so uh, what I want to do for those who are just new to the conference call and just new to the information of Garvey Town. The main thing I like to point out is that uh, I send the the conference call email, which is a newsletter to everyone. So just want to make sure everybody received that email. If you haven't if you haven't received any email dealing with the conference call, just make sure that uh, you send me a message in my inbox, uh, and uh, we'll add you to the conference call email. All right. So the, the so the main information is on the conference call email. There's a list of topics uh, that we're going to go into. Um, and I'll just go through them real quick. Uh, Garvey Town picks videos and documentation. Uh, so the, the, the documentation are simple. Um, I have 100% of the information on our website, africaforafricans.org. And once you get to our website, uh, you go down to the main menu and you click on Garvey Town. And once you click on Garvey Town, it's going to open up to right, so 13 full articles. And articles go from full details. There's the overview, site map and location, memorandum of understanding, land agreement, uh, prime objective, business opportunities, membership rules, uh, self-repair, uh, pitches and videos, questions and answer, general membership, buyer settlement, uh, shared agreement, and getting started, which has all of the prices and, and just literally all the details on how to get started. Uh, so in the overview, that's uh, all of the documentation that uh, we recommend everyone that's interested in Garvey Town read through all the documentation as I begin to just get the uh, Garvey Town co-fund founders to just put together the last set of uh, documentation for us. But this is a bulk of uh, the information, and it's uh, you know it's a nice lot. But at the same time, too, this is a serious uh, project, and we want to make sure that we have the right people on board and that everybody is clear on everything before they move forward. Uh, so the next level of documentation is on our Facebook uh, group page. And the Facebook group page, once you're on Facebook, you just uh, type in Garvey Town Community in Ghana or Garvey Town, and uh, you see a group page come up. And then just uh, add yourself. And then once you see the message, uh, we'll add you. And as far as uh, this page, what I've set up is uh, the pictures that we take showcase in Garvey Town. I have them uploaded. Um, on the photos, and also um, just a list of different um, posts all along, posts and discussion along you know, from from the beginning to the end, and it just showcase uh, the, the photo galleries and uh, videos and video galleries of Garvey Town. And then the third set of uh, documentation is our YouTube page. So that's youtube.com forward slash Bomani 2007. Right, you can also type in. Uh, videos on Garvey Town community. Um, sorry, once you're on my actual YouTube page, what you're going to do is go to playlists and you're going to see Garvey Town. Or you can actually stroll down and uh, you'll see the, the playlist and yes, you don't have to scroll down much. You'll see uh, videos on Garvey Town community. And that's a list of 1 to 21 uh, videos, which includes uh, uh, the conference call, like what we're doing, uh, videos on the land, interviews, uh, videos at um, our repatriation conference, uh, discussion on Garvey Town, and in general. So we put together a nice set of information so everybody could kind of get a feel of uh, what we're dealing with. That way we can work towards working on you know, the more intricate uh, conversations as far as how we can actually develop the community and put things in place. But this is the foundation of where you look at, look at the documentation, check it out, process it, and make sure that you're clear. 
All right, so now let me go back to the actual uh, newsletter. So the actual newsletter is uh, sent out. Um, I have an account with a company called MailChimp, and we generate these newsletters. Um, it's just more interactive since you can add pictures and add links in it. Um, and then we just send it out via that email process. So um, if you have not received any of these emails outside of the ones that I've sent you from my actual email, then what you have to do is just check your junk mail, your spam, um, and this email is sent out usually now usually the second half of the month I usually try to make sure we do the garbage conference call uh, the last uh, now last Sunday of the week uh, so a week before that uh, emails are sent out and then also the send out from my email in, in general but uh, the, the email um, newsletter list just covers this anything that I have as far as Africa tours and investments I usually showcase the tours that we do in Ghana which also includes uh, Garvey Town um, and then this uh, general uh, conference call itself and um, just any kind of tours or any kind of updates that we have uh, so that's uh, that documentation once you get it out uh, uh, read through it, um, it I always do my best to make sure that we put all of the updated dates for a future conference call also all right so that is um, that covers everything as far as documentation uh, number two, uh, national background check must be completed by all new members and submitted with application package. So as we talk about getting started, um, so what I'll do is I'll go to article number 13 on the website that say getting started. All right, so the first 28 of us who completed our application and sent everything in, um, I took care of the background checks out directly. Um, but it's just too many things for us to do and we need a more accurate background check and it's um, a situation where I talked to Garvey Town Company because originally they were going to do a background check but uh, once we just look over everything and everything um, it is best everyone do their own background check, national background check, it may be a little work uh, but uh, some of us live in different states so they need to do a criminal background check that is that will just cover your background uh, so once you get that taken care of, you can scan it uh, from page from front all the way to back and email it in with your application, your password, signature page, uh, two password, a, a password style photo. Since it's digital, we don't need no, we just need one. If we need more than one, we just make additional copies. And once uh, you email everything in and you're clear on the project and you know, you're ready to put your money down, you can put your money down before, after you see the project that's absolutely uh, up to yourself uh, we're there in Ghana every May and December on tour and while we're there we're doing our best to just cover as much documentation as possible to show you the growth of the project so it's, it's something that uh, we're focused on to make sure that uh, everything is good and we can handle working everything out for you here that way you don't have to deal with all the stress of having a call and check you just reach out to us and we'll give you all updates so um, and altogether, the price I uh, would include uh, number one is the, the price of your plot. So if you're doing a 70 by 100, it's 640. A 100 by 100 is 1093, and a 125 by 100 is 1360. So as far as uh, so you select the, the price of the plot, then administrative cost is 300, which uh, is supposed to process all your paperwork, transfer payment, uh, and basically be a representation to make sure everything works out and gets set up. And then there's a $220 cost for clearing the land, which includes setting up your pillars and make sure your land is organized for you to build. So those are the only three costs that's included in the projects. And that is uh, it. And that makes you an official member of Garvey Town. And our goal is to just organize as a community to get every aspect of the community built from the residential to the business district. And those are some of the other conversations that I literally want to talk more into. But now for those who we haven't gotten your, your complete setup, these are the new setups that we're dealing with. And the next time I will submit applications to Garvey Town will be, I'm looking at a month from now, um, end of uh, next month. And by that time, the first of the next set of people should have everything that they need organized. And that would also give people at Garvey Town to catch up with finalizing a few things on the on all 28 of our, our, our original application 
and at the same time too, uh, they're, they're working on a website so they can add some additional information. Which uh, what I do naturally is anything that's not anything on your website that's not that I don't have others added to our information on our website. Uh, so our goal is just to keep building the documentation and keep making improvements on the land. So a lot of the, the videos that I've shown of recently is videos of the land being clear. And so we go from November of last year to June of this year, and that's the level of progress. We put a deposit down on clearing the land, and and so so that was able to get so much of the land clear. So I'm looking to collect the rest of the land, payments from everyone who have made their full payments for their land and are part of their you know, the initial 28 people. Uh, so I'm just send it in as you send in the rest of the payment, and I'll update your receipt. And then you can, you know, you can work on focus on your building plans. That way, we can start getting things organized to discuss about our building. All right, so family, that is uh, getting started. And uh, for those who are looking to go to Ghana, um, Garadina, which is the project uh, manager, he lives on a property, and Rupa, which is the secretary, she lives on a property. David Jawara, and Kwabina, and Kwesi Prempes are. Kwesi Prempe is in the local area, so if you can't get in touch with them, they're also available. So that's uh, you know, five people, name, number, and email address if you're in Ghana. And then you can also reach out to me, especially on WhatsApp, that way I can just connect you with them on WhatsApp. Um, and for those who don't know that, that's uh, the mobile app that allows you to text and call internationally um, based on you having an internet connection and using the app on your phone. And the other thing is, uh, once you are a member, we just have a WhatsApp group, which is just specifically for members who are, who are paid everything and submit everything, so we can actually discuss about building and, uh, and so on. So it just working a little sequence uh, from the time we connect with the Garvey Town Company to now, and building our way of making the project work. Uh, it's one of those things where it's, it's hard to get one, you know, one person to come to Africa with you, much as one person to get land and build in a community with you. But um, our goal is just to reach out to different people in our network who have you know, have similar minds, and we're putting our resources together to make this project work. All right, so that is. All right, so let me go back to our conference call topics. All right, so that deals with the national background check uh, land clearing. And then as far as uh, individual building, um, right now we're trying to clear up all of the restrictions. Um, the only restrictions or main restrictions that I have right now is that everyone that's building is restricted to a one-family building, whether it's one floor or two floor. Um, so as far as multi-unit places, I reach out to the Garvey Town uh, co-founders and talk with them to put all these things in writing so you can be clear about the building plans and what building is allowed. But also, for those who want to invest in apartments and duplex and things like that, is a, you know, they have investments for those things. So, you know, just, um, just waiting for them to put those things together so I can have those discussions with you um, and other discussions like how we're going to build the, build, build the commercial areas and also build the roads. So a lot of different things to discuss. Um, so uh, we have everything set in place where I did a few videos um, with the two co-founders, co Derek Garvitown, Kweku, and Garadina. And just, you know, we discussed many different things and went through certain things. So trying to share with people just a flow of transparency and a flow of just how we just connect in, build on, and keep growing. And next thing you know, we have a full community in the next five to 10 years where you know, where, we, where it's livable and the infrastructure that we need is in place. Yeah. And for those who want to participate in, in any of the planning or anything, um, all you have to do is reach out. And you know, Keisha Anderson has been reaching out to everyone in reference to email as far as um, you know, skill set and a certain connection. So let's follow the emails as far as what she's sending out uh, so she can collect the data. Uh, so we can just put things together. So we're just working from that base of a foundation building, and you know, I feel like we've gotten a lot done from the time frame when we first got to Garvey Town, and you know, realized that it's best to join this project and empower it um, because all the right sort of things are in place for us to just work together. 
right? Um, and the other thing um, we're going to talk more about is assistance with build, building plans. So um, those are some of the other things that um, we need to get um, uh, different floor plans, and also individuals can generate their own floor plans. And we're going to put together a good team of builders to build everyone home uh, that are affiliated affiliated with the connection that we're organizing in Garvey Town. So um, throughout the week, um, I have different people that that I have meeting in Ghana to connect with uh, my assistant, Brother David, uh, to connect them with Gary Dina so they can talk about how we can best uh, utilize our resources as a group. That way, none of us are paying ridiculous prices to get a home built. And that's one of the things that you realize in this project. Everything is set for, it's for us and us doing it communally reduce a lot of the prices and it also give us a strong force to uh, look out for each other and you know so much of us that are working on this project it just helps to where any mistakes or anything that doesn't make sense get clears up. Alright so I talk about the uh, volunteers for a specific project. Now number seven uh, medical center. Alright so for those who have the medical background you can just reach out to Yakisha and she'll just add your data and my goal is to connect with Gary Dina to find out how he wants to do this, how we can assist Garvey Town with building this uh, medical center that was a part of the original agreement and we want to make sure that all agreements are fulfilled with um, the people in the community that the land was acquired from. When you make uh, these agreements to get communal land, uh, you also make an agreement to empower the community around you. So you are going to have Ghanaians living on the property um, that sequence is going to be worked out. Uh, so for those who are wondering if it's just going to be us from African diaspora, no, it's not going to be us from diaspora, but at the same time too, the primary setup is for us to be there. This is also a project for other Africans on the continent that you know, may be you know, in and out of Ghana, may move here and so on. At the same time too, we push it as an African diaspora community because that's the main focus of the connection. Uh, the school and community school, the current school that they have there right now in Garvey Town, uh, we've been able to go there twice and donate school supplies and financial donation and soon we are looking to take volunteers to go there and um, you know we're doing our best to give a little strength and energy. But our location with the school is that that's not the actual permanent location. Uh, so the next set of land is cleared. Um, that school hopefully in the future will be relocated to its proper location and it'll be more of a school for all of us, uh, for the local Ghanaian children and for the children that are, are returning from the African diaspora. All right, and uh, now the last thing is just the feature of Garvey Town, how to make this community work. Just want to let everybody know that this is a complete foundation building, but they do have estates out there that are pre-built, pre-set up, like what people are used to here. So if that's what individuals are looking for, the best thing to do is, is to work with that. This is definitely a project where we're looking to invest our own labor, resources, energy, so our, us and our family and everyone that are around us, it, it belongs to us. And it's not a situation where we have you know, power companies and everybody around us is using us as consumers. You know? So that's the biggest side difference. But you know, want people to be happy where, where they want to be at. So if someone's looking to build like a mansion and you're looking to build something on four or five plots, you know, I'm definitely not mad at you, but you know the, those restrictions are here to where everyone build a basic one or two floor home, and it's more in equilibrium, uh, and the community is more just you know more not set for you know high class, low class, or anything like that. Is just us as a people living together communally. And perfect, so. Family, I've probably talked enough and I've gone through a lot of the same things uh, before. So what I want to do is see who else is on the line uh, that has traveled with us. Let me open it up for uh, Sister Kalade. Uh, greetings, uh, uh, Sister Kalade. How are you? I'm good, but my how are you? Uh, well, hopefully you were able to hear me. I uh, just wanted to go over everything real quick as we've talked about and a few updates. Um, you have been to Garvey Town a few times, and you have been with me there the first time. Uh, anything would you like to share as far as the vision, as far as far as how we can make it uh, more efficient and work together better as a people? 
Um, I think we have a, a really good, um, you know, that, that you're doing a great job in the leadership role uh, with your marketing and getting a clear message out as to what Garvey Camp is all about. That's critical, that people actually know in, in very clear terms everything. I think I agree with you about getting some of these things, um, some clarity on some of the on, on restrictions and expectations regarding the building of the the medical center because from this is 2019 if it's supposed to be completed contractually by 2020 what does that mean um, and that needs to be clarified what that expectation is and a plan for how what can be done, I think that's a pretty challenging, um, that's a pretty challenging agenda, but if that's in the agreement, then, then everyone needs to be clear on what needs to be done in order to make that happen. Um, the building restrictions are important because that, is, that has um, impact on everybody's building plan as to, you know, when we talk, uh, is it clear yet whether or not uh, two-story buildings are okay? I know that multi that multi-family are not, but oh yes, we're clear for a one or two-floor uh, bungalows one or, or one or two-floor uh, units uh, that are considered one family, which is the same thing that uh, most of us have, have here. Um, myself I have a one floor. Some people have a two-floor house, so I, that was explained to uh, the co-founders there. In Garvey Town, maybe their setup is different in the UK, but I explained to them that's something that's you know, that um, that can't be adjusted for us um, if, unless it was information up front about that. So we were definitely clear on that. But as far as the, the multiple family units, um, that's um, uh, then that's something that you know I can definitely understand. Uh, but because they do have investments for multi-family units, so I'm waiting for the clarity of that. So maybe someone like yourself. They want to use that as an investment, which you know, in that case, that that has to be clear, written and laid out. So that's what I'm working with uh, them on, uh, which uh, yeah. you know, which um, um, I get them about a month, and then hopefully by the next conference call we can just have clarity of that. I would add to that. I think it's important that our that the groups that we set up um, start working on the different projects that they have committed their skill sets to. I know the Transportation Committee uh, or group has been, we have been working and, you know, getting information about transportation. I think it's important that all of our groups are functioning as early as possible and getting, like, basic information because there's a lot that I learned in uh, doing the doing interviews with uh, professional drivers here in Ghana about, you know, the requirements and so forth and what the options are. And um, I think we'll, the, the committee will be coming out with, uh, or like the group will be coming out with, you know, a report to assist with transportation at, at um, that level. But there are other important things like uh, that have to do with transportation that I guess we're not really tasked with. but. Uh, like, for example, roads and how that's going to happen, um, infrastructure um, is an important thing. I know we said that uh, we're going to be using, I think, a septic tank system for... Oh, uh, um, yes, a septic tank system and, until we put together a real uh, sewer system, uh, which would a lot for people want to get something built and, and you know, not uh, wait till all those things are finalized. Get solar power that way, you know, you're off the grid and you... That will give you control. Because being here on the ground in Ghana, light um, power outages are an issue. Uh, I've had, within the last week here in Cape Coast, oh, about 10 power outages. Wow, you know, yeah. I think I think you're just in the uh, the, the power outage zone, but uh, then again, Accra is not that bad, but depends on where you are. But uh, where are you? Are you by Imacus or? 
Are you just No, no, no. She's in Elmina. I'm in Cape Coast. Oh, you're in Cape Coast. You know, I figured Elmina would be worse. It might be worse. I don't know what's happening in El Nino, but I know it's been pretty rough this um, this week with power outages. And I found for the information I posted later on the website, um, there is um, a local company that is that has uh, generate solar generators, solar power generators. So. You know, that might be a backup if we're going to be on what, I guess, city power or there in Garvey Town. Uh, there's a good possibility we might need a backup, but that would be determined once, I guess, we get power in. So I think the, the, the things that, things are moving along. Uh, the things that need attention are the contractual commitments that we have. Those uh, need to be... Uh, we need to be clear on those and working on those, and and the plan for infrastructure uh, would be an important thing as far as 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 what I can see, knowing, seeing what life is like here on the ground, and as much off the grid as you can get, the better off we are. I noticed I think it was Garrett Dina that put out a a thing that we couldn't do boreholes because we're too close to the, um, I guess the water table to the water table won't allow for it. Uh, what I've been looking at is reservoir system. Mm -hmm. So that might be a possible, that can be a possibility. I have seen, not here, but in another location that I visited, um, a a uh, this this was a house that was really right really close to the ocean, and they had a reservoir system, and it looked to me and it was very effective too. Part of it, it had a solar pump, and uh, he was able to provide water to three houses. So, you know, it's an option. So that was that's what I have to say so much. You know, in terms of what I know from being on the ground, and if anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to ask. Um, well, appreciate uh, you sharing that, and, and definitely um, you know, those are things that um, we're looking to get, you know, keep moving forward, and the beautiful thing about it is all the information that's been cleared up front already. So uh, these are just the one or two things, and we'll be able to just be clear moving. But uh, I'm going to work and talk with, uh, you know, with them about certain uh, certain flexibility because at you know at this point we're in a different age of what they're looking to do, uh, so that's why our brother David is there to, you know, to talk and explain certain things because uh, it's a little bit different in the U.S. versus the U.K. and that's one of the things that's you know that's that's not you know that uh, they don't really have experience with, uh, so uh, that's um, and I we're there to explain to them how things work. And here and you know vice versa. Just like we have to, just like you learn about how everything is working in Ghana. And together, you know, we we'll all be clear and everyone has to make the adjustment. There's no dictatorship. You know, just because they first organize the land, um, you know, and even though we're the majority, you know, it's it's still something we're just looking to work out because you know we all one people looking to build you know one strong goal. Uh, so. Um, um, I look forward to also connecting with you so you can just, you know, we have another meeting uh, with uh, Garadina. They're trying to adjust and get to know us a little bit better. And most of us have known each other for a longer time. Right. Yeah. So those would be my priorities in terms of what we need to be clear on are our, um, any restrictions that exist, you know, that, that are not in writing need to be in writing. The, the contractual obligations and the dates when, when things must be accomplished, like the medical center and infrastructure, because that's fundamental for, you know, being able to conduct our logistics and all of that. So those would be the priorities that I see. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And excellent, uh, Claudia. So what I'm going to do, let me uh, mute you and... Um, let me just uh, open up to one or two people and then open up to some general questions. Okay. 
And so, family, the line is open. Um, for those who have literally looked at the Garvey Town information, for those who haven't, please hold your question until you at least looked over some of the information. Uh, so what you want to do is press star six to unmute yourself. All right, family, we have a lot of people on the call. The line is open for questions. We are closing in the next 15 minutes. This is going to be a short call. We're basically going over a lot of the same stuff. And as soon as I got back from Ghana, I uploaded about 10 different uh, Garvey Town videos and a good amount of them that show you the clear land and um, share with you certain conversations as far as the starting point of us building on Garvey Town. Uh, Bomani. Uh, yes, uh, go ahead. Uh, I was wondering, are there any plans to build like Condos? Uh, yes, apartment, uh, condos, duplex, uh, triplex, uh, those would be in the, those would be just a little bit outside of uh, where the residential plots are. Uh, so that's one of the discussions uh, Gardino is talking about, but the only thing is this, it's not really detailed on the site, but that's a part of it and that, will be, and that can be a part of also an investment if someone want to invest in one of those units. Okay, because I might be interested in something like that. Uh, perfect. So what I got them doing, I have, I have them uh, working on drafting it up. Those of us uh, like myself who want to invest in that were clear. Uh, so unfortunately, that is not uh, completed. So Okay. Thank so, you. Absolutely. So other than Harold, uh, how, how are you doing? Uh, you, re you, ready to you ready to be a part of the Garvey Town community? I'm doing fine, Bobani. That's why I'm asking questions about that. That's perfect. So, I'll, um, that's the area I might want to go in. Okay. Hi, right, perfect. Yeah, that's um, perfect. So I got you. I'll add you to the list. Get you some more information on that. Okay. Thank you. All right. Cool. Perfect. Guy. You're welcome. So, family, the line is open. All right, so what you have to do is press star six to unmute yourself and then give your name and um, your question. Hey, Bomani, this is Judy. Can you hear me? Uh, greetings, uh, Judy. I can hear you loud and clear. Greetings. greetings. Okay. Um, I have a couple of concerns, and hello to everyone, uh, Garvey Town members. Um, I was listening to the young lady. I don't remember her name. She was talking about the transportation program. Um, I've been get Kaladi. Hi, Sister Kaladi. How are you? Um, I've been gathering um, a lot of information on the transportation program, so I just want to um, collaborate with her with the information that she has. Or less, I'm, I'm not sure if she's gathering information to do a final report. Um, or how does that work? Um, because it looks like, you know, th there are several of us doing the transportation and we're gathering information, so we just need to come together to kind of share that report and just make it one big report. Um, so um, I, I guess I will reach out to her um, to see what she has, and I will give her my information as well. Because she said she spoke to some professional taxi drivers, and I don't know what the outcome of that, what information that she got from, from them. I will um, she's right here. The information I had gotten so far from professional taxi drivers was, this, was what I posted, what, what I summarized in terms of posting it on, the, on our uh, Garvey Town Initiative uh, chat. About the oh, classes. you're the one. Okay. Okay. Yes, I yes. saw it. Thank you so much. I saw it. So, um, so I'm putting together this manual. I'm almost done for in order for um, Garvey Town um, admin to review it, but it's just a few more pieces of information that I need um, because it's vital that we get this information. Um, I try to reach out to the National Commissioner's Office. It's very difficult to get, to get someone on the phone. And when you email them, it takes a while for them to email you back. So if any one of you have, um, you know, can differ, have a way to, to get to them by phone, where I can do, it's just a few questions that I have. That I think that this information is very, very important because, um, and maybe, maybe some of you know, you can provide that information. The, the information that I need is I want to know 
if in Garvitown the taxi drivers, I know that they're required to carry insurance, okay? What are those limits that, that they are required to carry? And if someone is have a, their personal vehicles, can they operate that vehicle as a taxi? Is it registered as a personal vehicle or as a taxi, a commercial vehicle? Um, so I just need to know, you know, those, have, have the answer to those questions. Because the reason I'm, I'm saying this, if we don't document it in our program and we hire someone and, and they go out there and something happens, the first thing they're going to say, well, you never told me. I didn't know this. So once we, we hire them, we let them know what Garvey Town requirements are and in order for them to comply with the laws as well. So this has to be given to them so that they are aware that we know what they need to do when they're on the road and the requirements are. So that's the, probably the most important piece of information I need right now to complete. So, um, so with, is this the insurance commission? Is it the insurance yeah. commission that you need yeah. inform that, that information from? Well, you know what? I can also get it from a licensed insurance agent in Ghana that knows um, if that person is a licensed agent, that person in Ghana mm -hmm. should know okay. what the requirements are. If they're selling insurance, they should know. I don't have to go to the commissioner. But um, if I can get on with a, a licensed agent, if you know a licensed insurance agent that is currently operating Ghana selling insurance, they should know, um, because it's the industry, they should know what the um, taxi personal driver's um, insurance requirements are, the, the limits of insurance that they're required to carry. Okay, I can uh, check around and see if I can find uh, one since I'm here on the ground and see what I can find out. Um, okay. And I'll get back to you. I'll look into it this week and see what I can find out. Okay, that will be great. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And one other thing, Bamani, um, I know um, the max for everyone to finalize their building um, is five years. My concern is what about folks who want to complete their home, the building of their home, before the five years? So as what you were saying about the infrastructure is very, very important because some of us really, we want to, we want to start building. We are, you know, we are not, um, you know, we're, we're up in age and we're looking to retire and we want to make that move. Even if we're not ready to, re to retire in the next maybe year or two, we want to have our home bit, homes built so that when we come to Gar Garvey, you know, come to Ghana, we can just relax. And our homes are there, you know, we enjoy our property, come back to the United States, and when we're ready to officially retire, that's it. We're, we're, we're there. So we want to, you know, kind of put things together. And now, and, and the only problem is, uh, like everyone was saying, is the infrastructure. Um, and what she said, the estimated time frame is very, very important because that will allow, if, if all of us, if we know approximately the estimated time frame, we can make our plans around that time frame. Um, so that is very, very important for us to know um, what is the estimated time frame, like you said, for the roads, the water, um, and what is the electricity. So that, you know, we, we can make our plans around that estimated time frame. Uh, there's already water and there's already uh, electricity on the property. But, uh, yes, other things are part of the infrastructure that's not there. So, yeah, so that's what uh, we all are shooting for to get it done, to put together the projection of all of these things. Okay, last and final, Bamani, last and final, I was listening to the video, um, listening to the video with the land clearing, and, um, and I want to get something, I want to clarify something. Um, I think the, uh, I think it was said on the video that it is, an, it's better, if someone is building, if you're building, it's, it's better if you use the Garvey Town builders than bringing in your own builders. If you do bring in your own builder, that builder has to um, be part of the Garvey Town initiative. Um, it, Garvey Town initiative, is that so? Uh, yes, any uh, external builders have to kind of sign on to the project. It doesn't have to be a part of it for life or anything. But uh, you definitely have to go there and you know, naturally you have to go there and see the land, talk to the, you know, the project manager. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, beyond that, we'll have several people ready to, that's on the same page, that's ready to just build the homes and it's work to where the sequences where 
you know, we're we putting together our money and buying things in bulk. Uh, so uh -huh. I'm, just trying to follow the, I'm trying to follow the science of what they're doing. Um, so yes, the any external person that want to work on a project has to talk to Garadine and sign on to it um, before they start doing any kind of building. That way, there's no confusion. Does Garadina have an approval process for those people? And when when you say that they're a part of the of the Gary Town crew, does that mean that they are that in other words they are that being that they are under the direction and administration of that crew? They're basically signing on to the project. Just like. Yeah, everybody that's uh, looking to build have to go see them so they can organize just a list of the people who are building and who's going to do what and how they're going to work it out. Okay, because, um, I, I, and correct me, I could be wrong in listening to what he was saying on the video that those builders, the people, the members who want to bring in their own builders um, and coming into the community and building, they would have to give back part of the cost of what we're paying those builders back to the community, um, giving part of it back into the community. Is that correct? Uh, yes, everyone that signs on to the project or anyone that uh, has a business in the community has to give back a certain percentage um, to the community in order for roads and all the things to be built. Well, yes, I understand, I understand that. The business part, the surplus, if you have a business, definitely the surplus, you have to give part of it. But if you bring a builder in, you bring your own builder in to construct your residential property. Your, your, I understand they have to meet with Garadina. They have to meet and sign on to the project. Does that apply also to the residential home that the builders have to give back part of the, 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 um, what we're paying them to the community? Uh, yes, uh, that's correct. Okay. It's um it's one of those things where uh, you're trying to recycle resources in a community to actually get the things built. Other than that, it's probably hard to just get all those things built. Um, and it's a way of this communally or uh, or corporate economically putting our money together. Or, uh huh. Uh, so the same. So when I reached out to Brandon and I got a few builders that uh, David is meeting with and he's bringing them to Garvey Town and they're talking and discussing everything and at the end of the day, um, we have to be able to sit down, work it out and have the best interest in the mind of the people that we're do dealing with. So the people that are, we have people that's going to represent us. So no, uh -huh. you know, no one, no. So every, everything is set to where it's to reduce the price and make it work for us. Uh, so I'm trying to work with, you know, with everybody that uh, have, we have to deal with to make it all work. Okay, because I am working on my blueprint at the moment. So once I get my blueprint, I have to send it over to Garvey Town for approval. Is that yeah? It is, is that uh, so? The, the main thing, the main thing is uh, anything you have to send it, send it over to me, and I'll, I'll discuss. Send it, it to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, with them, so the builder that um, that the last set of builder that we recruited, I uh, went uh, went over them with all of the different variation of things that people spoke with me on, whether it's uh, dome house, container homes. Um, two floor homes, one floor, um, this, the different kinds, and we worked out a good uh, game plan of based on what we submit to him, he'll organize the best set of people, and they'll do the work, and then I have people that's going to be watching them, so okay, it's going to make it all work out. Right now, can we see um, these builders that you're talking about? Would you, are we going to be able to see their work, or or or, or I mean, see what they have built? like homes um, that they have built, sample of homes that they have built? Yeah, without a doubt, I've explained to everybody that uh, we're not giving them any money to build anything unless they have went through the things and I've seen what they're doing in me. And example, me and you look at what they've done and then you and I agree. Um, so right. So it's a bunch of agreeing to get everything done, but as far as what you're going to get done, yes, you have to see what they have done before. So in the conversation, okay. that when the builders, they have to just, not only just explain what they've done, but also provide the full documentation, whether it's their website, their bio, their, their mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bibliography of uh, photos of, and of projects and so on. So that's uh, you know one of those things where it, just, it takes a little bit, but uh, I want to make sure that it, 
want to make sure that we have the right people for everybody so we don't have no drama. So that's um, so that's why I'm representing everything that we're doing here. Uh, okay. So uh, hopefully, you know, um, everything sounds cool with you. Okay. Because I want to start, I, I, my estimation to finish my home is about maybe a year, a year and a half. Um, so that's why I want to get everything going and get all the information that I need now so I can, you know, once the infrastructure. Um, oh, one other thing. Now, my plot is not within that first um, 20 plots. So with the infrastructure going in, um, is it going to be done by specific air section of the property first, or they're just going to be just putting in the infrastructure all around in Garvey Town? How is that going to be? Um, um, the goal is to work with the first 100, uh, which is that, which is what I'm basically administering the first 100. Uh, the plot. first 100. Okay. Okay. So um, you answer all my questions. So um, I, I'll talk to you about the land clearing. That's the, my next step, um, and then just wait to you know to get all the updates with about the infrastructure. Right, cool, perfect. Yeah, so definitely, um, we'll keep everybody posted. And the next conference call is in approximately four weeks. So hopefully, you have a lot more information by then. Thank you. Uh, perfect. You're welcome. Let me meet you. Bomani. Green's all the standing line open. Just, just to give some clarity to the questions and the matter regarding the first 20, that would be considered the first phase. And after at least all the infrastructure that is required for that area, then they will move on to probably the next 20 or whatever the case may be. Yeah, probably the next uh, 50 or 100. Um, uh, uh, this, is this too far out for me to even think about? <laughs> so I'm trying to work on what we can manage, which is the first 100 of which, you know, Altogether, 35 out of those 100 plots are, have been taken, so that's a good start. So, family, uh, we've got another five minutes. Um, if anybody have any questions or anything we've talked about? Yes, one more, man, one follow-up. The certificates, uh, documentation for the plot owners, they would be complete and ready, I would imagine, soon. Absolutely. So, uh, last text I got from my brother David is that he's going to pick them up Monday, which uh, will be tomorrow. So, I will see. Um, I required for them to be done perfect. Um, so, um, I rejected what was sent to us, so they're redoing all of them. So, um, uh, hopefully, everything uh, works out good. And that way, I can at least uh, scan and uh, email it to you. And could I clarify just one thing in terms of the term of our ownership lease, whatever you want to call it, is it 40 years, 50 years? What is the exact term of it? Uh, it's uh, 99 years. 99 years, okay. Hello? Uh, yes. Um, can you give your name and your question? Yes, good afternoon. This is, my name is Kay and I'm calling from Florida. I, um, I have a question. I want to buy a plot, but I'll, I am in the construction industry here in Florida, and I want to build my own home. And what would be the po policy and the procedures if I want to be a, my own contractor? Uh, the main thing is you just got to go and talk to the project developer, and then you, you know, you're already a member, so you, you, you're good on that part. You know, show me building plans, and from there, you can start building. Uh, not as simple as that, but uh, as far as that sequence, um, as it is, this, you communicate with me, and then me and you uh, communicate with uh, uh, Garadina, and then uh, you being there, and you know, you're get, getting familiar with what you have to do to get your you know, your, your parts, your equipment, and everything in. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I understand. Appreciate it. And also, um, um, I don't remember having your email or anything. Yes, I, 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 we've been communicating. I just send your email with my telephone number, uh, so whenever you receive it, you can give me a call. 
I sent it today, earlier today before the conference call. Oh, gotcha. All right, perfect. So your email just is on there, so that's perfect. So I'll send you an email um, for the information for the application and everything that's required. You just read through it, and then we can just kind of go from there. Uh, have you been able to look through all the, the details on the website? Yes, I did. I look at the plot and I identify the plot and all that stuff there. So, but my thing is that I want to start building as soon as the land is clear and the road the infrastructure in place. I want to to start building. So, um, we we talk more once you get the email. You can give me a call in a week or whenever you have the time, and then we can discuss this further. I could, brother. I appreciate you checking it out, and uh, you look forward to connecting with you uh, this week. All right, thank you, sir. All right, excellent. Uh, you take care. Uh, we have a few other people. Um, I right, so family we have a few minutes. Uh, just trying to get as many questions as possible. And uh, greetings, uh, Chaz. Uh, this is Bomani. You had a few questions. Uh, it's best if you just uh, ask your questions on the recorded line versus me uh, replying via text. Okay. How are you doing today? All right. I'm doing all right. And also remember that... Uh, your your application has to be resubmitted. Uh, it wasn't completed as we needed it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. I'll, I'll get. I'll get. To that. I'll give me yeah. about a couple of weeks. I got a few things that I get out the way financially. Oh yeah. Whenever you when you get it together. But yeah. Go ahead with your questions. Yeah. Um. Okay. So only one photo is required as opposed to four. Oh yes. It's uh. It's uh. It, one photo because it's a digital. Um. Now you have to um send it via email and even if I get it here and I scan it. We can always just um, make another copy of the photo. So just, Good. Uh, My face doesn't change that fast. So anyway, okay. Um, all right. What is the, uh, exactly uh, cur currently in place for those that are, uh, that are living there in Garvey Town right now? Yeah, the only people that's living there is uh, the project developer uh, and his uh, wife, and, um, and there's a school there. And okay. Is, and, that is, uh, it, and then there's uh, two or three unfinished homes. Okay, and those are currently uh, uh, under ownership for someone else. Uh, yes, uh, uh, several of the uh, co-founders uh, just you know, got their plots um, and uh, started, but never finished. And okay. Beyond that is just 28 of us from the, you know, from here in America, and oh. uh, well, we, we, you know, we're trying to work everything out so we can start actually you know, building. Okay. Uh, next question. Consider joining the Best Star Credit Union, Best Star Line Credit Union. Are you all affiliated with them? Um, they're part of our business and investment conference, and uh, right. we're good friends uh, with um, the members. Uh, so we just, you know, have a good connection. So that's actually what we recommend because once you get to Ghana, in order for you to get a bank account, you have to actually apply for our residency. And uh, beyond that. Um, uh, this is a good way to uh, get your you know, get your account and you know, get some money transferred over and you know, get yourself uh, you know, set up. All right, good, good. That's important. All right, and um, okay, I, I understand that the as far as infrastructure goes, electricity and water is provided to some degree there, right? Uh, it's it, there's uh, electricity and water available. Uh, you just gotta draw it in and you know, pay your costs, and then you can also you know do solar, and then you can. Subject tank. Okay. And as far as the, the future, I figure out certain things out and get additional resources is to build our own sewer system and our own uh, electrical system and water supply. Project that. So that was some of the questions earlier, and that's what um, the co-founders on on the time frame of those things. So the good thing about it is, um, you know, those of us who committed to the project and I kind of gave it a little energy. Uh, so, you know, we're actually moving forward. Uh, it's been a, a standstill for a while. Okay, good enough. Okay, you and I, we'll, we'll talk later on uh, this week because you're in the States right now, so we'll talk. Uh, excellent, my brother. Uh, good talking with you. You take care. Uh, as always, as always. And uh, we'll talk in some detail. All right, All thank cool, you. Perfect. Take care. Okay, I'll share. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Brother Pickett, uh, I've seen a few available. Hey, Bomani, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. Um, just checking with you to see if uh, you saw the videos uh, since I got back from Ghana as far, and Garvey Town and just trying to get your opinion if uh, everything you know, looks like up and up or if you have any questions or 
Definitely, man. Uh, yeah, I've seen the videos, man, and, and it looks looks good. looks like it's moving in the right direction, man. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting involved, man, getting my plot. Since you got me on here, uh, I do have a question, man. Um, sure. The five years, is it? Can we uh, build in stages? Oh, yeah, Within absolutely. that five years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because cause I'm looking at probably from anywhere from maybe two to four years, <laughs> somewhere around there. Perfect. Most of us are probably looking at, like, at that. Um, but you know, it's one of those things where you're looking at um, from year two to five, you know, you just get a certain amount of people in sequence. So trying to work all that out scientifically. Okay. But yeah, I'll 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 be getting in touch with you probably this week, man. Um, and if you're around, man, you can come by, come on by the house. That, that's what I plan on doing, definitely. I'll, I'll pop everything up on the the big screen and I just go through it, man. What what you looking like for this sometime this week, man? When 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 your uh, schedule open this week? Um, come? come on by, man. I'm working on Ghana and South Africa, uh, 2019 and 2020. Trying to Trying to get it out so we can fill up these journeys. So um, I'm here all week. Um, just um, just uh, let me know when you're looking to come through, and I'll make sure I'm here. Okay. Well, I'll be hitting you up tomorrow then, man. Definitely. All right, Definitely. perfect. All right, so perfect, brother. So we keep in, uh, we keep, uh, in touch, and uh, you take care. Yes, sir. Will do, man. I, right. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing, Bomani. I mean, it's... Yeah. Man. It's been it's been a, it's been a, it's been a long journey, man. Uh, and you know, you know, but you know, even though we have our our, our, our short little delays and shortcomings, it's like uh, compared to everything else that was out there, and it was it was nothing else close, man. This is just, you know, for people like me and you, brother. This is us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Order, yeah. black power, business, enterprising, you know, self sufficient, self reliance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, man. Hey, I want to ask, man. Um, once we get settled there, or is 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 there going to be a problem in venturing out into other in on the continent? Oh no, you not know? at all. As a matter of fact, I got a bunch of things I'm looking to work on uh, in other countries, but uh, even in Ghana itself, I'm looking to. You know, one of my goals is to buy me a whole a whole you know whole apartment complex in one of those oh. you know one of those areas that you know that we you know. I usually stay in this area called East Lagoon, and and it's uh, right once we get to Ghana, it's like a neighborhood, not too far from the airport, about 15 minutes, and it's you know, it's a perfect, you know, it's a perfect for one of my one of my business headquarters and you know spot for my business people where we can just kind of work on big projects together, get ourselves to the airport and off to another country and working on big investments. So trying to think big. <laughs> Uh, but uh, okay. but yeah, but yeah, my goal is to work with the Garvey Town Project, get at least the first part of development built, and have my house there, my family there. Um, that's gonna you know, and try to just get a few of my other family members from maybe Jamaica, and New York, just come there, and you know, it's, it's something that I'll feel safe that you know your your, your family is there. It's just that kind of community, and then yeah. and then other parts of investment or traveling, you're close because looking to take you know tour business to another level, so. You know, the good thing about it, you know, we, you know, we have a set up there to do business in Garvey Town, and some of the money that we make, we, you know, we can give back to the community, uh, and you know, there's so many things to do, man. But it's like you, you, you can like dream when you, when you, when you actually, you know, have land and you have actually have a connection. You're working together with another, other groups of people who just we're on the same page. You can actually you can make some happen. But it was like it's like depressing that you just think about everything that you have access to is owned by everybody else. Yeah, everything. <laughs> so this this is definitely an opportunity, man. If, if if you if you want to do something with your life, it's definitely an opportunity to do that, man. You know? Oh yeah, brother, and it's it's some work, man. But you see how far we can get with a little work. And that's what I tell people, folks: as long as you organize ourselves, we can pull this yeah. thing off. Because they couldn't believe that that you know that twenty eight of us would commit to this project. And I'm saying that, yo. It's you know selling to black folks is 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 hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah, but at the same yeah, time yeah. too, you know uh, you know real recognized real. So 
I, I thought yeah. I was like, oh, you know, we just have to just be honest with people about what we're looking to do and then it, let people know it's not for everybody, but those who want to build something from the ground up and they want to yeah. build on certain philosophies. You know, it's, it's like one of those things that you see something for everybody else and you're like, what, what is there for me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I, I, I can't pass up. Man, that... That that trip to uh, Togo and Benin, man, blew me away, man. And then that did it for me. I knew I had to go back, man. And when that opportunity came up to invest, I got to be a part of it. I, I'll be bringing some money this week, bro. <laughs> All right, cool, man. No, definitely works, yeah. well. I'm going to keep you posted, and uh, I'll look out for your call and talk with you. Okay, man. Appreciate you, brother. Talk That's to you perfect. soon, man. I tell right. family, appreciate everybody energy. Uh, I'd family, I appreciate everybody our energy. Uh, uh, this is uh, Bomani Taimba, and uh, just reach out to me if you have any interest in Garvey Town, and I'll get you the emails and get you everything you need, and we'll go through the details, and uh, we we'll just go from there on. Right now, we're 28 strong, got about another 10 people on standby, and a whole lot of people on the list. So. Um, so uh, come on to join the energy, and as we build like a hundred strong, and from there we can just you know, put our money together and just make uh, you know make this project work, and then we have an incredible investment in Ghana. So family, once again, uh, you take care and have a good time, good Sunday, and I'll connect back with everybody else. Peace, my brother. Good night. Take care. Peace. peace. peace.